What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Ivan Review. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Today we're going to be going over the festival playlist for uh, March 5th through the 12th. This started yesterday, so um, hopefully this is an informative video. If you do enjoy it, please make sure to drop a like and yeah, enjoy. Alright you guys, so for this week's festival playlist... There's a couple things we need to go over. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go over what's in the shop real fast. Um, so you can access that by going through here. So uh, they have the 2006 Koenigsegg CCX. That's on, that's for sale right now for 600 Forza points. Um, I'm not gonna get that, but the um, 1965 Cobra 427 SC for 450 that's a pretty good deal and you can resell that at auction for a really good price it's around two million so um i bought one of those and i currently have one of those up for sale on auction um but yeah so and i actually end up may purchasing the koenigsegg anyway but that's what is within the shop you also have the, you know the emote the car horn and the super wheel spin um i don't usually go for those because i already have most of those um i mean super wheel spins can be purchased but it's whatever. So, um, yeah, so that's what's in the Forza Thon shop today uh, and for this week. Um, in other things in the Forza Thon, um, so you do have, you know, your, your challenges. And specifically, I want to talk about the Flight of the Valkyries challenge. Um, so it's asking for, if you go to it, it's asking for a S2 uh, Sweden or Denmark car. So, um, we, the group that I was in, I have some, some friends that I like to play with. Uh, we went into this race and we only had Koenigseggs. That's a terrible idea. This is a dirt racing series. Big tip is to get a, um, the Volvo that is for sale. I, I believe, um, I don't know if it's for sale in the shop. I had a Volvo sitting in my garage, which is a Swedish car. So I went and built that up to nine, nine, the, you know, to an S2 class and it did a lot better. I put a 6.2 liter V8 in it and I sent it down this dirt track and it did great. So let me show you guys that car real fast. All right, you guys, so this is what I used for the Flight of the Valkyries challenge. I put a kind of a, you know, cool paint job on it, um, and I um, made sure to upgrade it to um, S2. Uh, it's a really nice option to use during those dirt races. I put rally springs and rally tires on it, and it did a really great job. Um, it held corners well, I slid a little bit, but it was fun to use, so um, yeah. So yeah, oh yeah, okay, so S2921, that's what I upgraded it to. All-wheel drive, make sure to put rally and uh, tires and springs on it, and you should be good if you max out the upgrades on the engine as well. Um, and it, like I said, it did great, and it was, a, it was a breeze to get through that challenge. If you try and use a rear-wheel drive Koenigsegg, though, it's not going to work. You'll slide all over the place. Obviously, it's a dirt track, and that's a hypercar. So, um, yeah. Okay, so back to the festival playlist. What we're gonna, um, other thing I wanna talk about, the playground games. So the playground games this week are an off-road A-class vehicle. Um, I would make sure that you max out your A-class. I ended up using the Ram Rebel or the Ram Rebel uh, TRX, and it did fine, um, even stock, but uh, I we lost the first time, and then we, we, you know, we all went upgraded to max A-class, and we smashed the competition, it wasn't even close. So make sure that you go and, and pay attention before you start events to go and make sure what car the regulations are asking for and then upgrading to the max of that class because that's going to help you out a lot. Now, now as for the rewards for this season, at 50% we get the Porsche 356 SL and at 80% we get the Lotus Elise 99. So uh, I haven't driven these cars yet. I have it uh, selected right now if you saw that. But um, I haven't driven it yet. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I also did earn the total festival playlist 
um, <clears throat> for you know the entirety of the season. Uh, I did get 50% and 80% completed, so I do have the ATS GT18 and the BMW E92 M3 GTS. So um, I'll be doing a separate video on those two cars, but for now we're going to stick with the Horizon Spring season and go from there. All right, you guys, so here we have the 1951 Porsche 356 SL. This is what you get for completing, uh, I believe, yeah, 50% of the Spring Festival playlist. Uh, I haven't driven this at all yet. I really don't know a whole lot about it. I know that uh, Jay, um, Jay Leno has a video out on it, and so I'm definitely going to be go checking this out because it's a very unique looking car, in my opinion. You've got the very uh, bubble-esque uh, features here, um, something that was pretty common back in the 50s, if I if I believe um, what I'm saying is correct. Uh, it's it's I think it looks really nice. Um, I know for a fact that in real life I would never fit in one, so I'm glad I have this in the game, so I can try and experience somewhat of anything of this car. Um, uh, just because I am 6'6", so I know I wouldn't fit in this, but. Um, I think it looks really good, and if I'm being honest, uh, I love the stock paint job, the one that, you know, with the white, I think it brings out uh, a lot of the lines really well, and uh, yeah. I think we need to go uh, get an inside shot real fast. Sorry, I was in photo mode, makes it look better for you guys. I'd rather do that um, than just with the Forza Vista. But let's open this up real fast. Looks really nice inside. Um, very classic, you know, the 50s-esque. Really like those dials, though. Those look, you know, sporty. There's only three of them, so they keep it simple. Got your manual shifter there. Looks nice. Knob shifter. Nice. Let's start it up and see what she sounds like. I think the game glitched there, but we can give it a few revs. Ooh, sounds good. I like that a lot. All right, let's shut her down. Beautiful. I think it, I think that's really cool, actually. I think if this this car specifically, I don't think I'm gonna mod this one because this offers an experience that really you can't experience in real life. If that makes sense, you um, I'm never gonna be able to ride in a 1951. Uh, Porsche 356 SL because one because of how rare it is, how expensive it is, and how tall I am. Um, this offers an experience to the, that uh, I'm not going to have in real life. So I really think this is kind of a cool little thing. Um, let's go take it out for a race real fast, see how it does, and then I'll give my overall impressions of it. Um, and we can go from there.
Alright you guys, so that does it for uh, the Porsche 356 SL. Um, took it through that race, it was uh, slow, that's for sure, but back in the day, you know, this was uh, pretty quick. Now if you don't like the car, it should sell for a really good, uh, you know, pretty penny on the auction. Uh, I would wait till the festival, or this um, week is over, so that people are like, wait, I could just earn this for free. Uh, but if someone did actually want it, they could you know, go to the auction, buy it from you. Um, I believe the value that uh, Forza puts on it is, let's see. Oh no, this is for buying cars. Noob, at 250K, I mean, I'm sure it actually sells for more than that. Let me go check the auction and see if I can find one. Oh yeah, guys. So uh, starting bid for these are going at four hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. Uh, that buyout's two point five billion, but this one's nine hundred thousand. Regardless, though, you, you, it looks like you can get a pretty good amount of money. These guys are selling it during the festival, or during the you know the the festival playlist. Which I don't know why they'd be doing that. People could just go earn this for free, uh, just by doing some challenges. But yeah, you can see here people are asking a lot of money for them. Um, they are a legendary car, so you can get money out of it. Um, I'm not going to sell mine because I'm trying to collect all the cars in the game, but uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, okay, so up next is the uh, is the uh, Lotus Elise 99. Uh, that's what you get for completing 80% of the festival playlist. And um, so yeah, let's go pull that up. All right, you guys. So here you have the Lotus Elise 99. Uh, beautiful car. Lotus always makes pretty cars. Very small, light cars, meant for the track. Um, I personally don't fit in them, <laughs> so uh, that tells you anything. Um, it looks like a little happy smiley face though on the front. Uh, pretty interesting um, when it comes to these cars. They, they're they not usually crazy expensive. Um, I know that the uh, GT1, I believe is what it's called, the Lotus GT1, uh, at least GT1 is pretty expensive in the game, but these are relatively inexpensive, and they're good light cars. I usually use Lotuses for, um, you know, danger signs and such. Just because they're so light, I get extra feet um, from these jumps. So um, let's open the door real fast. See how it's like to sit inside. Um, very stripped down interior. A lot of uh, you know you have the fire extinguisher there, which I think is a cool touch. Um, you've got this, uh, you know, support being basically no one could sit there. Uh, they could. It would be a tight squeeze. Um, yeah, you got your shift knob there. Looks good. Let's uh, start her up, see how she sounds. We got some pops there. Yeah, that sounds good. A little burbly. I like that. Um... I think what I will do is I am going to upgrade this a little bit, um, so let me go do that and then take it to a race and see how she drives. Okay, so they do have a couple engine swap options. You can go with the rally engine, the 3.2 liter i6. I'm going to keep it stock for now and just see what kind of numbers we can push with that. But we are going to do uh, um, uh, different uh, aspiration. Uh, we're going to go... I'm thinking we're going to go single turbo. Um, that'll give us a lot more oomph from lower RPMs which will be good. We're going to make it all-wheel drive. I know that's a sin amongst Lotus uh, Lotus enthusiasts. I really don't care, though. That wing looks ugly, so we're not going to do that. We'll slap on some race tire compound and widen these wheels, get a lot more grip for, for grip's sake. And we're going to widen the wheelbase as well. Do full upgrades on the drivetrain. So we're already S1 right now, so 
Should be a pretty fun car to drive, hopefully. We're gonna do some race brakes. Um, race springs. Some anti-roll bars. I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna lighten this car at all. Uh, Lotus is already light as it is. It's gonna cause a lot of issues. I think it's already gonna be hard to control doing these upgrades. We'll get all these engine mods though going. These bolt-ons. And engine builds. Jeez, this thing's gonna be nuts. We're at 900 with that. We start, we start crawling into the S2 territory with upgraded turbos. So maybe we'll stick at uh, top 900 S1. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to get a paint job on this. I'm going to use somebody else's. Give them a shout out. So let's go see if we can find a cool design. these up. This one looks really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. So, uh, M101, Akil Young. I'm gonna use your design. It looks really nice. Let's load this one up. Might change my wheels when I select this. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Nice. Alright, well let's go take it out, take it for a race. I'll let you guys know what I think. I still need my, my impressions of the Porsche overall as well. And then, uh, so we'll do both at the same time at the end of the video. Alright you guys, so that would be the Lotus Elise 99. Um, uh, overall impressions, it's very slidey, even in all-wheel drive, that's how light this car is. I think with some tuning and some downforce, maybe you could get it to stick a little bit better. I made the, the tires as wide as possible, the wheelbase as wide as I could, uh, but man, it was sliding a lot. Uh, you could tell that I was losing control at certain parts, and I really couldn't make up any ground because it just kept sliding. That possibly could have been because of the rain, but hey, I, 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 you know, I think that part of a car's performance needs to be how it performs different weather, and this just wasn't sticking. Um, one thing I will say that I love about it, though, one, this paint job is great, and then two, uh, the pops out of the exhaust. I think you guys, you guys can hear it when I'm racing, but man, it sounds really good. Um, I, I love the, and it's a very distinct pop. It's not like the other rumbles and crackles from other cars. This was like a distinct popping that I really, really appreciated. So I think I'll use this more with uh, danger signs and such. Because um, most of the time with danger signs, you just need to 
uh, grip, and then, or you don't need to really grip as much, you just need to get a good line. Um, and if I can get up enough speed, this is light enough, I think I can use this a lot with Danger Signs, I think it'll do really well. Um, but yeah guys, so that's the Lotus Elise 99. Um, as for the Porsche, um, it, it, like I said before, it's really slow and it's old. It's more of an experience car if you ask me, uh, you know, to have the experience of driving it. Um, and I won't mod it, but I can tell you that if I did mod it, it would have the same issues this does. It wouldn't be as grippy um, because it's such a narrow car. Um, uh, through turns, it just wouldn't do that well. And uh, I was already feeling that while it was D-class, it could feel it letting go just a little bit if I was approaching a corner at high speed, uh, quote-unquote high speed. It was like 60 miles an hour in that car. But um, So yeah, not, not really, neither of the cars this week I would use in road with street racing events. Um, this could possibly, this Lotus could possibly be a decent drift car, um, but uh, take that as you will. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is the kind of the review for the festival playlist. Um, this specific one is going to go through, uh, March 12th, and, um, that's when it'll be over, and that's, so that's how long you have to get the challenges done. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to stay, keep yourself positive, don't let those intrusive thoughts get to you, and yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.